do. Hello again and welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to be making a sorrel puree and I'm making this puree because I'm going to be baking a sorrel cake and the ingredients I'm going to be using for this and to make the puree is uh, these hibiscus petals here or sorrel as we call them in Jamaica and these were some dried sorrel which I have thoroughly washed and clean and drained to get rid of most of the liquid from it. I'm also going to be using some fresh beetroot and um, these are some beetroot which I have peeled, clean, washed and diced. I'm also going to be using some sugar, uh, that's some freshly squeezed orange juice, that's some red label wine, about 100 ml of water and I'm going to be also using some cinnamon leaves and some orange peel. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do though is to chop the beetroot and the sorrel. I'm going to chop these in my little and held chopper here. So I'm going to chop these, just rough chop them in my little hand chopper. And the reason why I'm chopping them is because I'm going to be steaming the beetroot and the sorrel down into a combination of all this beautiful mixture here. So I'm going to now chop the veggies and then I'll take you through the process of making this sorrel puree. So now I'm going to be chopping my beetroot and my sorrel petals. So the first thing I'm going to do is to chop the beetroot in here. And I'm just going to roughly chop these. So there we have it. And it's a little manual thing, so I'm just going to give it a couple of pulls. So there is the chopped beetroots. So I'm going to pour that in here and just quickly chop the rest. That's the rest of it all finished chopping. So there you have it. That's the beetroot. I am now going to put the sorrel in here. And I won't be washing the container either because they're all going in the same mixture. And now I'm going to roughly chop the sorrel petals as well. <laughs> show you what the chopped sorry looks like. I'm now going to pour the rest in here and chop that quickly too. Just throw those in there. So just finishing up the sorrel, just a couple of more pulls on this. So there you have it. The sorrel is uh, chopped a little and I'm now going to go through the rest of the process. Now I'm going to be preparing my sorrel puree. In this pot here I have uh, some cinnamon leaves, about 150 ml of water and just a few pieces of orange peel. I'm going to remove the orange peel and the cinnamon leaves from the water because I just kept them in there while the water was boiling just for flavour. So I'm removing these from the water now. this water I'm going to add my sugar 
So in goes the sugar and I'm going to put my stove on very high heat at this point because I want the sugar to dissolve quickly. So my stove is on high heat. I'm going to boil the sugar into the water just to have it dissolve. Also, I'm going to be adding the freshly squeezed orange juice to this water. And I'm going to just allow the water and the sugar with the orange juice to come to a boil. So I'm just allowing the pot with the liquid here now to come to a boil. So now that this is boiling, I'm going to add the beetroot to this water and I'm going to turn the stove back down so I'm just going to add the beetroot which I have finely chopped or roughly chopped I should say I'm going to add the beetroot to this and allow the beetroot to soften a little bit while I allow the beetroot to just steam down in this liquid here for about five minutes or so or a little bit more anywhere between five to ten minutes I'm just leaving the beetroot to steam here I'm going to add some of my red label wine and I'm going to cover the pot so a little of the red label wine going in there and I'm going to now cover the pot and allow it to just seep for a couple of minutes and once that's done I'm going to remove the beetroot from the pot and allow it to cool and then use the same juices to steam my sorrel. I'm now going to cover the beetroot in here and just on medium heat just allow the beetroot to just to steam a little bit for roughly five anywhere between five to ten minutes thereabouts. So now that the beetroot is finished steaming, I am going to now remove the beetroot from the water by straining it off in this container because I'm going to use the juices here to steam the um, sorrel. So I'm straining that off here. I'm just going to remove the rest of the beetroot here. I'm going to now pour the liquid back into the pot. I'm going to use this same liquid here now to steam the sorrel. So I'm going to now put this back on the stove and I'm going to add the sorrel to it. So now I have the mixture that I have steamed my beetroot in and you can see it here. I am going to add my sorrel to this and I'm going to have my sorrel here and just leave it to seep. So in goes my sorrel in here. So I'm just going to just let the sorrel immerse into the liquid here and I don't want too much of a liquid in here. Just a little bit of the juice that was left. And to this I'm going to add the rest of the red label wine. So in goes some wine on the sorrel. And that's what I have there. So 
just enough liquid to cover the sorrel. I am now just going to cover the pot and leave this on a little medium heat for five minutes thereabouts. Then I'll just turn the stove off and just leave it to seep and become cool and then I will blend it. So now that I have my sorrel here, which I have steamed, and my beetroot, I am going to puree these and combine them to make the sorrel puree. So I'm going to be using my food processor to chop these. So now I'm going to pour my beetroot in here. Now I'm going to chop it. So now that my Beetroot is finished blending. I'm going to remove it. So that's the texture of the beetroot, which is what I'm looking for. I'm going to now pour this back into the container. So I'm going to pour the beetroot back in here. I'll set that to the side and now I am going to be chopping my sorrel so I'm going to put this back on here and now I'm going to pour the sorrel into my food processor so in goes my sorrel got a little bit of spillage there but I'll clean that up in a second So there we have the soil in here. I'm now going to just clean this up quickly. So now that I've tidied up a little bit of spillage, I'm going to now chop the sorrel. So and I want this to chop very finely. So just scraping that down in here. So I can get that evenly chopped. I'll continue chopping. So now that I have chopped my sorrel in my food processor, I'll show you what the texture look like because I'm going to chop this again, but this time into my smoothie maker because I want the sorrel to be chopped very smoothly. From chopping it in the food processor you can see the texture here. Even though it looks good for me I still want it to be a bit finer than that. I'm now going to transfer this into my Nutribullet and chop it more smoothly. So we'll be back. So now that I have transferred my sorrel from my food processor to my Nutribullet. I am going to smoothly blend this in here. Give that a shake. And blend again. So now let me have a look to see what the texture look like, if that's what I'm looking for. So there you can see the texture, it's a little bit smoother. But I'm still going to just give this another quick blend, because I want it very smooth. So just another quick blend in my... Nutribullet 
and it will be done. So that's it. I'll show you what it looks like now. So now I am going to be pouring my sorrel in this bowl here and I will combine it with the beetroot which I have already chopped and blend. So in goes my sorrel puree. So there you have it, that's my, that's my sorrel puree. And you can see how gooey that looks. So what I'm going to do with this now, I'm going to combine it with my beetroot. So now that I have blended my sorrel puree and my beetroot puree I'm going to combine both in this bowl so I'm going to pour my beetroot into my sorrel and then I'm going to combine these two mixture so there you have it my sorrel and beetroot puree so I'm just going to combine these two now and then I'll show you how beautiful this looks and it also tastes amazing you should be here to taste some because it has a little bit of alcohol in there a little bit of red label wine some orange peel some sugar and some cinnamon leaves and sticks that was boiled down into the beetroot and the sorrel so let me just show you what this baby looks like so there we have it beautiful sorrel puree and I'm going to use this to bake my double blend sorrel cake so thanks for watching guys and I will leave the a recipe and instruction in the description box for my double blend sorrel puree and um, please remember to like share subscribe leave us a comment and also turn on your notification bell so you will be able to see when I bake my double blend sorrel cake thanks for watching guys take care